In the last presentation we started the registers and now we will see what are the different data formats available to us and also the classification of the registers. So first I will start with the data formats. Data can be entered in serial or parallel form. If this is my register then in this register the data can be entered in serial form. By serial form I mean one bit at a time. By this I mean one bit at a time and by parallel form I mean by parallel form I mean all the bits at a time all bits at a time so if this is the register then in this the data can be entered like this this is the serial form the data is entered in a serial manner and uh, let us take one example and uh, let's say if I want to enter a 4-bit data 1011 in this register so if I consider the serial manner let's say this D is the data that I want to enter then it will look something like this okay this is 1011 this is what I want to enter and uh, in the same way if I want to enter it in parallel form then I have to enter it individually to all the four flip-flops okay so this one is one and this is zero this is one and then one this one is the parallel form and this one is the serial form in this I am entering the data 1011 in serial and here I'm entering the data 1011 in parallel so if you want to plot this in the timing diagram then first we will have d3 d3 is 1 from here you can see d3 is the input to the flip-flop number 3 this is d2 d1 and uh, d0 so d3 is high so I will make it high d2 you can see is low so I will make it low and uh, d1 is high so it will be high and the same way d0 is high so this is 1 0 1 a uh, 1 and uh, this is t1 d0 uh, so this is a small introduction about the data formats available to us and uh, you can also extract the data the stored data in the serial or parallel form if you want to extract the data in the serial form then it will come out like this and if you want to extract it or uh, retrieve it in the parallel form then it will come out like uh, this you are getting out the stored uh, data and uh, also the serial form is called as the temporal code the serial form is called as the temporal code temporal code and the parallel form is called as the spatial code okay so this is all about the data formats and uh, you will understand it more when you study the different types of registers available to us and I'm just leaving the data formats here and I will start with the classification of the registers so let's start with it classification of registers I will classify registers depending upon uh, two things the first one is the input and output so I will classify it depending upon depending on input and output this classification is very important so let's see the first type of flip-flop available in this category this is the CISO S -I -S -O, serial input serial output you can see if I am entering the data in the serial form then I will say it is serial input and if I am getting out the data also in serial form I will call it serial output so in serial input serial output register we enter the data in serial manner and also extract the data in the serial manner very simple that's why I explained you this data format so that you can understand the classification a little bit easily and the second one is the SIPO S -I -P -O, serial input and parallel output you are entering the data in serial manner but you are getting the data out in the parallel manner like this and that register we call as the serial input parallel output the third one is the PISO P -I -S -O. in this we enter the data in parallel form parallel input like this and uh, we get the data out in the serial form like 
uh, this and the last one of course is pi po parallel input and parallel output simply we are entering the data in parallel and getting out the data in parallel so this is the classification depending upon the input and output we can also classify the registers depending upon the application so depending on application and uh, we have two types of registers depending on the application the first one is the shift registers the shift registers and this one is very very important very very important we will study it in detail and the second one the second type in this category is the storage register storage register so these are the two types depending upon the application if you want your data to be shifted like from f3 to f2 then f1 and then f0 and then comes out we call it shift register and if you want your data to be just stored like you store the data and uh, use it when you need there is no shifting of data the stored data then we call it as the storage register and uh, in this way you can say that this PIPO the parallel input parallel output register is nothing but the storage register because in this case we are entering the data the one is entered in the D flip flop the flip flop number 3 and this one that we have just entered is not shifting it is it is there so that's why it is just a storage register in the same way 0 1 1 is stored in flip flop number 2 1 and 0 there is no shifting of data so it is simply storage register it is a very simple concept and actually the register is a very simple topic if you compare it with the counters or even flip-flop because understanding the flip-flop initially from the combinational circuits a little bit tough and once you have the feeling of flip-flop you can easily understand these registers so this is all about the data formats and classification of registers and we have to study all this for all these four registers in the coming presentations and also we will study few special type of registers like bi-directional shift registers universal shift registers and in this way we will complete the register so see you in the next presentation